Draymond Green gets it to him and he just goes right to the bucket. Just, just hold it! Oh! Tabaka. Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, hit foul. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Let me hit. Let me hit. <laughs> we did it, Charman! We did it! Yes! They did it, man. They actually did it. Last night, the Raptors won the NBA championship. I needed to go downtown to see history being made. Here's some footage. <laughs> Out of the way, guys, it has been the most unproductive, unproductive day, unproductive day, unproductive day. I'm gonna go with okay, enough of that. Today, we are filming a video of life hacks, food hacks, actually. Now, I saw this floating around Facebook, and I oftentimes see these videos where it's so perfect to the point where I question is this even realistic for the average person to try at home? We're gonna do that today, okay? Food hack number one, the classic pineapple one. This, by the way, is the first time I've ever bought a pineapple in my entire life. Basically, it's like every single one of these little squares is peelable as like little bite-sized ones. So in the video, all I did was snap the, the top. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. In the video, the whole top came off, but uh, I guess cut it. We cut the pineapple. Are we supposed to decor it? I have zero clue on how to decor a pineapple. It's like they've already chiseled away the individual pieces. Of course, it's gonna come off in bite size. That's not saving any time. If this works, this should theoretically come off very easy. Life hack number one, I'm gonna say it's a fail. At least based off of those video standards, they're leaving out parts. Number two. Brings us over to the stove, we're gonna need to boil some water for this one. Basically for this hack is if you wanna remove the thin film or like the hairy parts of the peach, you boil it for 20 seconds and then put it in ice cold water for a minute and then it should just peel right off. I have two peaches here, let's go ahead and try it. So we are currently waiting for the water to boil, one peach at a time just to see if it works. For one, and go. All right, that's 20 seconds. Okay, ice cold water, one minute. Okay, it's been exactly a minute. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, no, that's the skin, damn it. All right, it's been a minute. Let's go ahead and see. They like, man, fail. That's another fail. It looks way too easy in their video. I'm gonna say that's a fail as well. For the average Joe attempt, that's a fail. Number three involves tomatoes. I'm already predicting this one's gonna be a fail. Okay, so it involves tomatoes. So you have a tomato. What they're saying is you flip it over so you have like the bottom end of the tomato. A very fine X. Just like that. Now the reason why I'm calling this a fail already is because they don't actually tell you how long you have to put this in the microwave. I'm left to my own devices that I have to now guess the number. I'm gonna say let's put it in for 30 seconds and just see what happens. 30 seconds, two, one. Okay. No. This doesn't look like the video, so we're gonna put it in for a little bit more. It needs more time. Another 30 seconds. Okay. No, still doesn't feel ready. All right, another 30 seconds. Uh-oh, that's not supposed to happen. Might be ready, let's try this. Okay, so what they're saying is that you're supposed to be able to peel back the skin of the X that you created. And it's supposed to go all the way down. Oh, I mean, sort of. Okay, okay, hold on. This is sort of working. Since they didn't actually give the length of time it should be in the microwave, I think this one's possible. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a success, not based off of my results. Okay, for this next one, you're gonna need a spoon and some oranges. This one I can actually see working. So basically, all you do is you take the spoon and you find the halfway mark and you just shove it in and up. 
Oh my god, oh my god, it's actually working. Pretty much just like that, okay? Follow it, follow the orange around with the spoon. This is squirting so much. Once you've made it all around, what's supposed to happen is the skin should just come right off. You don't have to peel it. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna say that's a success. That's a pretty good life hack. With the effort that I put into trying to peel this orange, I think it might have been just as fast to use my nails. I wanna see in comparison how long it's gonna take me to open this with my fingernails versus using the spoon. Done. So it's definitely faster to do it with your fingernails. However, life hacks don't always necessarily have to save you time. They could save effort or make it super easy or, or even make the action cleaner. Using the spoon, you're gonna get a nice solid peel. Versus using your fingernails, you're gonna have a bunch of peel everywhere. So that life hack was a success. Okay, so there you guys have it. I really just wanted to test those food life hacks out because I see them all the time and I see the simplicity in the videos and I feel like it's only setting this expectation for a lot of people that it should always be that smooth or that clean or that easy and it's not. These companies strive for perfection because because perfection is much more shareable than imperfection. So you just don't know how many attempts these studios have made. That was an honest attempt, that was today's video. Uh, if you guys wanna see more Raptors footage, I will have it as a highlight on my Instagram story. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.